Hey y'all, welcome to Unboxing Discovery by G. My name is Gina and today we are going to do an Amazon Try Before You Buy. Now Amazon Try Before You Buy is different from the personal shopper. Now Amazon personal shopper, you pay $4.99. That is not given back to you. It's not credited back to you or nothing. You just pay $4.99 for the stylist to style you each month or however often you want to. The Try Before You Buy is more like an on-demand box you pick everything you want to go in that box you get to try it on for free free shipping free returns you only pay for what you keep i think it's a great option uh if you don't mind looking around doing the shopping for yourself it's amazing it's a great way to see what amazon has to offer plus when you shop at amazon you never know what material that you're gonna get you've seen a lot of these this is what i thought I was getting this is what I got kind of things on Amazon lately this is a great way for you to do that yourself for you to see if it's gonna look like it looks like on that model so if you don't have Amazon Prime I'm not sure if this is a something you can get I think it's something that comes with Prime if you want to try Prime I have a link below that it will give you 30 days for free I also have links to Audible to Kindle I love Audible. I love Kindle. I love the Kindle Unlimited where you get the free books and you just, you, it's like a library. Oh, I love it. Um, links to Prime Wardrobe, links to Subscribe and Save where it's just, you automatically get your stuff delivered to you each month. Amazon Video. Oh, I love Amazon Video. Amazon Prime Video. I watch that all the time. Great movies, great shows on there. That's where the new Lord of the Rings TV show is, y'all. Okay. So let me move on from that spill. Like I said, all of those links will be in the description box and I'd really appreciate it if you'd press all those lovely YouTube buttons. Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribing to my channel is free and I really appreciate it. All you gotta do is click a button. Thank you so very much if you do that. Also, please share with your friends. Tell them about the channel, word of mouth, or put it on your social media. If you press the share button, it does give you a link to put that on there. Please press the notification bell. That way you don't miss any of my videos. Some of my giveaways and collabs come on at different times than my normal videos at 9 o'clock Central Standard Time, Monday through Saturdays when normally I come out with videos. Um, what else do I need to tell you? I don't even know. Oh, if you want to tip your creator, which is me and Miss Callie Cat, who is on the bed right now, there are two ways to do that. You can press that super thanks, which is tipping through YouTube, or you can buy me a coffee that's tipping. It's just another website where it gives me a bigger percentage of the tip you give me. So thank you so very much. If you do that, now let's open these bags. Because yeah, they're bags this time, not boxes. And there's three of them. Yep, three of them. Um, I think with the try before you buy, you can only get six items at a time as to where with the personal shopper, you can get eight. And you still have the seven days to try everything on. Okay, everything is going to be individually wrapped. I'm going to unwrap this stuff and I'll be right back. All right, we're back. I have unwrapped everything. Got mostly sweaters. Did get a thinner long sleeve shirt. And of course, I had to get some denim to try it all on with. Do I need more denim? No. But, you know. These are Angels Forever Young Women's 360 Sculpt High Rise Flare Jeans in Kingston, size 10. $33.30 and I think they are worth every bit of that price. I like the Angel brand. Um, Angel Forever Young denim or whatever it is. I like them. I have some. They're one of my go-to. Reach for them as much as, if not more, the cut from the cloth and the democracy. I just like them. They're comfy. So we'll see if these are the same or not. You know me, I love a flare, I love a wide leg, but I like it to go in and come out because it makes you look better. <laughs> um, I mean, this wash is okay. It's not super favorite, but it's, it's nice. A nice light denim, very cute, 360 sculpt. We'll see if they lift up this boosy Lucy. We'll find out. Yes, I called it the Boosie Lucy. So these two are actually from the same brand. They're Andra Bess, A-N-R-A-B-E-S-S. -S. This one, it, yeah, which one is this one? 
Just look at it. We'll figure it out as we go. Oh, it's got paper in it. And no gel packs I don't like. So, ribbed mock zip turtle neck. Okay, this is the one that's got the thumb holes. Remember when that was so popular? We all had to stick our thumbs out of our clothes. Um, I was watching an old show. And I saw one and I was like, oh, I used to like those. I mean, sometimes they would make me hot, but so I thought I would try this one. So this is the women's long sleeve half zip V neck collared casual slouchy ribbed knit pullover sweater top with thumb hole. $38.99. It is white. It's soft. I do like a zip top that way I can fold this down if I want to and make a collar out of it or I could wear it up if I'm cold. I think it's going to be nice and warm. We'll have, we'll have to see what it looks like on though. Let's see what the tag says. It does have that kind of curve to the bottom of it that I like. It makes you look nice. 50% viscose, 30% nylon, and 20 PBT. I'm going to have to look up what PBT is. Uh, you can wash it. You can iron it. And it doesn't say anything about drying. It has a triangle that's X'd out and a P that is circled. Hieroglyphics, y'all. That laundry hieroglyphics. Cute. Soft. We'll see how it goes. What did I put them? Oh, they're sitting right in my lap. Next one. Let's get rid of all that stuff. This one has a hood on it. It is the women's long sleeve Henley hoodie button drawstring casual knitted pullover sweater sweatshirt. $6.49 Xing. I don't know what that all that stuff is. It is $26.99. I love a hood. I love, love a hood. I like the button Henley look. It does have the wide sleeve. How do we feel about that bell of a sleeve? I thought I saw a stripe on it, but I think that was just this, the way it's stitched. It's cute. It's going to be heavy. Not super, super heavy, but a little heavy. Enough heavy that I'm already like, well, I'm already hot. Whew. And I got to try sweaters on. Maybe I should turn the air conditioner on. 100% rayon. You can wash it. You can't dry it. And you can iron it. Hmm. I think it's cute. $26. So this one, there's a little story behind. Now, in my one of my last ones, I got this sweater in a beige. I loved it. I thought it looked too slouchy on me, though. I did keep it because it was comfy, comfy, soft. And I didn't care that it was slouchy on me because I liked it so much, the comfort of it. Well, I thought, well, what will happen if I order a size down? What will it look like on me then? So I thought, well, I'll do that. And I'll just order it in a different color. That way, if I like it too, I'll have it in a different color. So it's the Max Studio Women's Waffle Net V-neck Long Sleeve Pullover in Blush. It, and it is in a large $25.41. I just, I loved it. I don't know why I loved it because I normally don't like stuff that has elastic down here and a tie, but I did. I loved it. I thought it was so comfortable, cozy, and that little knit. Look at this waffles. I love that look. So I got it in blush and we'll see if it fits me or not. If it doesn't, I'll send it back. But it comes in all kinds of different colors. I think it only goes up to extra large. I found that out because I was looking for somebody else. They had mentioned that they didn't have it in their size. And I was like, oh, that's horrible. Why don't they make it bigger than extra large? Because it's a lovely top. Rant over. Let me move on. So this one I think is called C Style. C-E-S-T-Y-L-E. Extra large. It's very soft. It's stripey. It's got orange and blue and like a little sea blue in there, kind of greeny blue. It's got pink in there. Very soft, little, but bright, very bright. 
So I don't know how I feel about how bright it is. But it's soft button up shirt. This is the C style striped long sleeve women's shirt fall button up shirt collared v neck top to wear with leggings soft print. And I don't know what it keeps going and going. You know how Amazon is $29.99. But I thought it was a cute little button up, and I'm always wanting button ups. I mean, you could stick that out of the top of a solid shirt, and then you just have that color sticking out, you know, that pop of color, and stick it out the edge. I don't know. I'm thinking. I'm plotting. I am plotting the wear. D wash dark color separately. Yes, I know that. Gentle wash, un uh, gentle machine wash under 30 degrees Celsius. Cool iron. Do not tumble dry. Dry it flat. But what's it made of? You don't tell me what it's made of. Are they ashamed? That's too funny. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway. It's stripey. Oh, it's got a button here. So I guess it's one of those tab sleeves, too. I didn't know it was tab sleeve. Don't always love a tab sleeve. Because I'm not good at the rolling up thing. But it's in there. Okay, cute. What's up, Bonnie Faye? Cute little pockets up here with the fold over. Real pockets. Cute. I mean, it's not odd. I kind of like it. I'm just not sure about that orange bright sticking out. Well, come on. You can do it. Come on, baby girl. She's like, I, I don't want to come over. Like, nope. So these are the legendary white tails. I actually kept a flannel jacket like a shacket kind of thing in this brand I, I do like this brand uh, you can find it at Walmart but I like it uh, this is an extra large what did it say about it something weird legendary white tails women's standard non-typical long sleeve t-shirt in orchid extra large $24.99 I guess this is why it's non-typical because on the side it says white tails <laughs> I've been in a deer mood okay because my dad's been showing me pictures of deer on his wildlife cameras like big deer and so I guess it says legendary on this side I guess that's why it's got me in this hunting shirt type of brand but great long sleeve shirt I thought it would be great for wearing around my dad's you know rugged kind of if I needed to go hunting in it, I could. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, look. This is my favorite part. You see the deer? Oh, isn't it pretty? Okay, I am a child. I like it. I think they're pretty. I told Daddy, I said, I know you're going to go hunting, and I know what happens when you go hunting, and I'll even help you clean them. But I don't think I could ever pull the trigger. I could not ever pull the trigger. Okay, it's 100% cotton. And it is machine wash called with like colors, tumble dry low, low iron if needed. Do not iron on the decorations. But I think it's cute. What do we think of the color? All right, I'm going to try all this stuff on. I'll show you what I'm wearing today. Y'all always comment. Let me know what you think. If you want to try on any of these items yourself, I will put individual links to the clothing down below. Y'all, I forgot to do that on my last one and somebody mentioned it to me. I was like, I'm so sorry, but thank you so very much for pointing that out to me. So I went back and added the links to it. If y'all missed something that you wanted to go look at, I went back and added those links and I'm so sorry I forgot to do that. You know how it gets... I am, I keep myself pretty busy and I get pulled in 20,000 different directions and, you know, I go out of town thinking I'm going to take care of my dad after his procedure and I end up having to rush back because somebody else had to have emergency surgery in there having not so good a time. So, yeah, in the family. Uh, it's just one of those things. Everything and then the dog grooming, you know, and everybody wanting to get their dogs groomed before the holidays and trying to shuffle when I'm going to do what. Not to mention my son's birthday is on the November 13th. Tell my son happy birthday, y'all. I'd appreciate it. And 
yeah, I'm going to go up there and have him a party. And so it's going to be out of town for a week. I'm home for a week, out of town for a week, home for a week, <laughs> out of town. for Because then, you know, there's Thanksgiving. I'm back out of town after I throw a shindig at my house. It's probably going to be like this for a while. I don't know. Life doesn't slow down for me. So that's okay. I'll try this stuff on. Y'all comment. Let me know what you think. Press all those lovely buttons. I'll see you back in a second. So here is my outfit for today. I'm wearing this Market and Spruce cardigan. I got it from Stitch Fix. I'm wearing a Michael Stars tank. I don't remember where I got it. I'll see if I can list it down below. And some Democracy jeans. <laughs> that, that's, that, yeah, that's it. Okay, jewelry. This I got, I think, from a curator box. These are from Rock's Box. This I think I got from Fab but Fun. My glasses are from Keepers. They're blue blockers. By the way, I told you wrong on those denim. They were actually vintage America I got from Amazon. What do we think of the legendary whitetail shirt? I do think the shirt could be softer, but it is warm. It's got legendary down one sleeve and whitetail down the other. I normally don't go for stuff that labels brands on the side but I love their logo that deer I think it is so very cute so very southern country like me and I mean I'd wear it I definitely wear it it's just a little stiffer of a material than I'm used to I like something that has a little more softness to it but this is definitely a good shirt for you know if I needed to go out and work with my dad outside in the cooler weather I would definitely throw this on. Now the jeans, great comfort, great comfortable. They suck you in. They, do they lift you up? Look at me feeling on my butt, seeing if they lift me up. I like them. You know, I like them. They don't have distressing on them, so I'm not gonna have any issues with that. They have a cute little bell to the bottom of them, or flare. I think they're cute. I think they're really cute. Let's go to another top. So I like this one too. I mean, it's white. It's kind of on the plain side because it's just a white sweater. But I like the thumbnail or the thumb holes. You know, it's a great way to keep you warm. I actually get too warm. I don't know if I could deal with it because of the cats. Because if I was to pet the cat like this, oh, the fur. But it is cute. It could be a little more structured right here. But it's nice. It's soft. It would be warm didn't want to wear the thumbs you could just fold the sleeve up which some people do that but I like the curve to it, it it's you know accentuates us girls to have a little more here I don't know what it does it does something of course you could unzip it all the way or you could zip it all the way up and make a turtleneck out of it which I think is a cute look I just can't handle it around my neck I'm already panicking, y'all. <laughs> Can't do it. All right, let's look at the next one. So out of sheer curiosity, I put them on together just to see. I mean, granted, if I was going to wear this under something, it would probably just be a V-neck, not something with a hood and the buttons. But, I mean, you see how it's just, it's peeking out from the bottom, so it's giving you a hint of color down there. It's peeking out from the top. It's giving you a hint of color. You know, you can put as much colored, you know, sleeve here as you wanted if you just wanted to touch would y'all wear that style okay let me take this one off i'm gonna try it on separate oh both of them hot all right i rolled one with the tab sleeves so you could see what it looked like that and i put the other one straight so you could see what it looks like like that i actually kind of like it is it too loud y'all i kind of think it's fun i love the lines a vertical stripe gives you uh, I would have to be careful of this right here, but you know, so many times I put a tank on under and just don't button those. And yes, excuse the girls, y'all. I'm just showing you, I don't have a tank on, but that's how I'd wear it. I'd put a white tank top underneath it and I'd wear it like that, or I would tie it, but I actually kind of like it. I didn't think I would because of the colors, but it looks great with denim. It looks great with denim. All right, let's go back to the other one. Did y'all see the back? 
That was my knee that popped. Okay, I just wanted to show you this shirt without that underneath it so you can see what it's like with nothing underneath it. Um, I think it's just a little slouchy for me, a little big looking. It's cute and all, but I don't know that I love it. And I think I'd get hot in it because I am definitely hot in it right now. What do y'all think? All right, so here is the other sweater that I got. I had the extra large in. This is the large, and I think I can wear them both. And I'm so glad I got this one in a different color because I can just wear them both. Maybe I'll do like a side-by-side -side and you could tell me if you like the extra large on me better or the large. But yeah, and you can pull it down. You can wear it like this or you can flop it up and wear it however you want to. It ties. But I just think it's comfy cozy. What do y'all think? Let's do a recap. We're back, y'all. What do you think of the clothes I picked out from Amazon? Do you like the way they look? Do you think Amazon's a good place to shop for clothes? I want to know y'all's opinion. And I also want to know if you liked the large or the extra large better on me on this waffle top. I like it. I think I'll still wear it. Um, I'm going to wait and see what y'all say. I don't know if you think I should size back up up or even size down which i really don't think i should do that but i do like it I like the color i like that it comes in a bunch of colors very nice top probably will stay with me one size or the other i like this a lot better than i thought i would actually and i think i would probably wear it in these colors which i didn't think i would but the Denim lines with denim jeans, which is how I was, would wear it, I thought was kind of cute. Of course, I'm going to watch back and see if I had ring, like, ring, li ring light eyes or not. Because, you know, sometimes I do that. I just get caught up and think something looks good when it doesn't. So, y'all have to tell me. But $29.99 is $30 bucks for a button-up shirt. I don't think that's horrible. It's a possibility, a definite possibility. This one, I mean, I like the look of it on me. I just don't, I don't know. I'm going to watch it back and I want to know what y'all think. Should I keep this one? I'm tempted to, but part of me is like, it's white. Girl, you're going to get everything in the world on it. Your, your cat fur is going to stick to it and, and, and you're going to have gray furs on it and you're going to get mustard on it and you're going to get dirt on it. And yeah, yeah, that's how my brain works. Because it's a white outer wear. But I like it. I'm just, that's a maybe. This one I didn't like as much. It was just a little too bulky on me. And I think a little too heavy. Um, I have to be careful about how heavy a sweater I get. Because I do get so hot. So I'm probably going to send this one back. But it is a nice sweater, and if you don't mind the bulky, if you like a thicker sweater, you probably like this one with the hood and the Henley and all that. So this one's going to go back. I like the denim. I did like the denim. I don't need the denim. What was it, $33.30? Part of me wants to keep the denim. I'll watch it back and I'll see if I thought it was a little tight or not. But I, I really, I like it. See, I want to keep up too much stuff. That's my problem. I like this too. I would wear it. It's bright, yes. But in the logo, the lettering on the sleeves, I don't, I could leave, take that or leave that. It's not always my favorite thing. I love the little deer in the bottom corner. I thought that was cute. Wish it was a little bit of a softer material is the only thing. Uh, but I think it would be great shirt, you know, to wear around. And yeah, well, how much was it? $24.99. I got some serious decision making to do, y'all. Y'all are going to have to help me out. I may have to post this one really soon so that y'all can help me 
make my decisions because I don't know what I should keep and what I should send back. So y'all let me know, comment below. I can't wait to see what y'all think of everything. Don't forget there are links down below if you want to try to buy any of this stuff for yourself in different sizes, colors, whatever. Y'all, thanks for spending part of your day with me. I hope the rest of it is wonderful and God bless.